Hey everyone, in this video we're going to go over how to uh, filter EIGRP routing updates with prefix lists. So I'm going to show two examples. One is going to be an inbound prefix list and one's going to be outbound. So for the first one, we'll focus on R1 and we R1 has a loopback that we don't want to be distributed out this way or to be um, advertised out that way. So from the perspective of R2, let's go ahead and take a look and see the route that we're learning from R1. All right, makes sense. We have uh, the route from our directly connected neighbor for the loopback. So let's go ahead to R1 and configure our filter. So the first thing we have to do is actually not go into EIGRP, it's go and create a prefix list. And we'll call this one loop or loop back, how about that? Uh, sequence five, uh, we have to deny. All right, so this is gonna deny our loop back from being advertised. The other thing we need to do though, is we know that um, prefix lists work in the same way that access lists work in that there's an implicit deny at the end. So if we left it the way it was, we wouldn't be advertising any routes to R2. Um, <clears throat> so we have to allow all. And what that does is we're permitting all prefixes and that have a, um, a mask, a, a subnet mask, less than or equal to 32 bits. So now let's go ahead and go into router EIGRP mode. And I'm using a uh, named mode, so Edges Family IPv4 Unicast Autonomous System 100. We have to go into the topology base. And here is where we configure our distribute list. We'll take a look at some of the options. We have access lists, uh, we can filter on gateway, which we'll do in a moment. We're looking at prefix or route maps. So in our case, we are doing a prefix. We called it loopback. And again, we have gateway, we could do in or out. So remember in this case, we're filtering it outbound because we don't want R2 to learn about. It. So we'll go ahead, configure that out. And the other thing I'm going to do is I'm also going to configure a loopback um, 11 just so we can see that we're that the only route that's being filtered is that one loopback. So let's go ahead to R2. Show IP route 1 to 1 to 1 to 1. No longer in the table. Perfect. But now let's do show IP route 11, and it is in the table. So we're still learning all of our other routes, except we are filtering out loopback one. Now let's go do an example where we're filtering inbound. And in this case, we're gonna do it based on gateway. So let's take a look at R3 and the segment that it's on. It's a shared segment between R3, R2, and R4. And in this case, we're going to say that we don't want to learn routes from R4. So I'll just put a red X over here. We don't want to learn routes that way. We do, however, want to learn routes from R2, and we want to learn all of the routes. So it's an inbound filter on R3, but specifically we're going to filter the prefixes and gateways. So let's see what that looks like. Let's go ahead to R3. And the first thing that we need to do in our prefix list is identify the, um, the hosts. So we're gonna say block R4. And I don't know why I did that, but it's the first sequence. And we're gonna deny 10.0.234.4 slash 32. And it's a slash 32 because it's the host of R4. Then we can do our prefix list block R4 sequence 10, just like we did the other one. 
32. Perfect. So the logic here is very simple. We're, we're going to block all routing updates from R4, and we're going to allow all routing updates from any other host. The other thing we have to do, though, is we do have to create a second prefix list. And this one we're just going to call all, um, and it's going to allow all routes. This will make sense in a second once we get into EIGRP mode. So let's go ahead in there. Topology base. Okay. So now once we do the distribute list, we're going to do it based on prefix again, and we're doing all. So the logic here is that we're doing a prefix list where we're allowing all routes and from any prefix right and we're going to allow all rights of uh, sorry allow all routes from the gateways in our uh prefix list which makes sense because our prefix list says permit everybody except r2 so again <clears throat> we're allowing all routes from the prefixes allowed in this uh i mean from the routers allowed in that prefix list and it's an incoming one. And we'll do it on gig one, two, three, four. Um, I forgot to configure it on R1. It didn't really matter in that case. Um, if you don't configure a interface, it just does it out of all of them. In this case, I, I wanted to show you, we're, we're just gonna configure the dis distribute list on this interface. All right, and actually, I think what I forgot to do is let me copy that. I forgot to show IP route the IGRP. So let's take a quick look before we filter them, what routes we're learning from R4. And you can see there are some routes we're learning, like we're learning about the 10046 network, which is this network over here. Um, we're also learning about 45, which makes sense. It's also directly connected to R4. And then we would expect that we're learning from the loopback. So let's go ahead back into EIGRP. And... We'll just configure that distribute list again. I thought I had it copied, but uh, distribute list, prefix, all, gateway, block, R4, inbound on gig one, two, three, four. All right, now that that's configured, let's compare our routing table. So uh, it had has it not kicked yet? Okay, there we go. So it looks like we lost R4. I mean, we lost the loop back to R4. And on all the other links, we don't see them anymore. Now it's possible that eventually we'll get them through convergence and it's a slow lab, so it'll get here eventually. We, we should learn about them eventually. Um, well, actually, we won't. Two, three, four. Okay, sorry, that's my fault. Um, the The way we configured that list is that no matter what, we won't learn the routes originated from R4. So we still learn, here, let me see if any of these have come in. Nope. So we're never gonna learn 4.4.4.4 because it's gonna be coming from this router. So we can refresh all we want. We're never going to learn it. So let's take a look at the IP ERGRB topology just to confirm. And you can see they're not in the topology either. So they never even make it to the topology table. The routes just get filtered at the interface. So thank you for wa watching. Um, I hope it was clear. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Thanks.